Man will leave you in the desert without water. Okay, I'm going to keep it real short. And this is going to be my last video for a minute because I'm going to be going on vacation. So I'm not going to be on YouTube. I'm not going to be posting any videos or anything like that. I'm just going to enjoy my vacation. But I cannot. I'm not doing anything today. I'm not at work. And every time I get on TikTok, there's a video, there's a live about the situation with the lady that got hit with the brick. And I keep seeing black women over and over, just like this black woman in this TikTok that I stitch with this video right here. Just like her, black women are shocked that black men don't give a fuck about them, that they only care about themselves. They don't even care about other black men. Y'all think that they do, but they don't. They damn sure don't care about uh, black male boys. Just like they don't care about the black girls. But what is so shocking for me is not that black men won't protect black women. I already know that. And women like me know that. So we would never ask black men to protect us. You will never hear out of my mouth, me ask a black male to protect me. I'm going to protect myself. I understand like your man, your husband, your father or whatever, like your brother, they're supposed to come in and protect you. Yes, that's true. But for me, I'm going to protect myself if no one else is around. You cannot depend on black men to protect you. I don't know what makes you black women think that these sorry ass sons that y'all birthed and raised is going to protect anybody. They don't even protect their own daughters. They don't protect their wives. They don't protect their mothers like that. I see a lot of black men get out of here and say, well, you know, I'm not jumping in for a random black woman that I don't know. I will only defend my wife, my daughter, my mother, my sister. That's the only time I will jump in. That's a bold-faced fucking lie. They don't even jump in for their daughters. There's been many situations where black women that have fathers have been in domestic violence relationships, getting their ass beat, and their fathers don't do anything about it. So they're telling you another lie they don't see value in black women. They don't see value in black girls. Even their family members, even their own children, they don't see value. They're not going to protect you. But why are y'all still asking them to protect y'all? Now they'll say, well, y'all say y'all can't stand black men. Y'all don't like us, that we're violent. Y'all want to be strong and independent. Why y'all asking us for protection? Let's get this straight. The only black women that's asking you for protection, black males, are those black women that want to still be with you. Are those black women that deal with you, that are married to you, that birth fucking sons. They're the only delusional black women that really think that you will ever, ever protect them. And you will not. And black women look so foolish all over the internet wondering why black men won't protect them. Because... You're worthless in the eyes of black men. They use you women and they discard you like trash. They don't have any problem unaliving black women, unaliving black girls, unaliving their children, unaliving their mothers, their sisters, their cousins. They don't have no problem with that. They don't have any problem with unaliving other black males. So you know damn well they don't give a fuck about you. But I know that some of you are that delusional that you really believe that you have raised some outstanding group of fucking men. No, you haven't. What you have given us, what you have given the collective of black women are some shitty ass demons. That's what you, you've given us. And every day when we get on the internet, we have to be reminded of the motherfucking sons that you birthed in this motherfucker and put on this planet. To put us in our place and to terrorize the fuck out of us while unaliving us. 
Every fucking day we wake up and get on social media, we're reminded of how the black male truly feels about us because your motherfucking son is all over social media showing his ass. He's just not talking about it. He's actually doing it in the real world by unaliving you on a daily basis. So stop looking for protection from the black male. You're delusional. It's just that you want to be picked and you want to be loved by the black male so much. You want your son to really, really love you. You want him to really, really protect you. No. Most black women's sons don't give a fuck about them and ain't protecting them from shit. If they can call their sons right now to come help them do some shit, most of their sons ain't coming. <laughs> most of their sons don't give a fuck about them. I don't know why y'all still delusional. I mean, I, I hear a lot of y'all bring up in the lives about the Montgomery brawl. Y'all really thought the black male did that for you? No. He did that for himself and your, your dumb ass jumped in the mist trying to fight a war with him. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. He don't care. But that lady that got hit in the face with the brick, I don't give a fuck if she was a Somalian. I don't give a fuck where she came from. Nobody deserved to be knocked in their face with a fucking brick. Now, everybody's coming up with all kind of reason to justify why she why she should get knocked in the head with a brick. You, you got another black male come out and say, well, I was there on the scene and I saw what happened and she's a troublemaker, so I didn't help her and I would never help her. And if it happened again, I still wouldn't help her. But I got a daughter. And y'all really think that they will come and protect their fucking daughters. They don't. That's why we got all these black women with daddy issues. They don't protect their daughters. They don't even stay around to raise them. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. If I knew my daughter was my, my dad was a bitch ass man that would just stand there and watch a woman get hit with a fucking brick, I wouldn't even want that to be my fucking daddy. I wouldn't even want that I wouldn't even want to call that and be proudly calling that my fucking father. That's a weak ass bitch. They'll tell you, I'm not jumping in, I'll help my wife, I'll help my daughter. While they're watching somebody else's daughter being unalive. While they're watching somebody else's daughter, another black male's daughter, being abused. They don't care. They're not doing it for their daughters. They abandon their fucking daughters. They don't protect them. And a lot of times when they are in the lives of their daughters, they still abuse them. Mentally, emotionally, and sometimes physically. So no, they're not going to do it. That's sad when a lot of these men can say, I got daughters and I will stand there and watch a bitch get knocked with a fucking brick. But I got a daughter. It doesn't make sense. White men and non-black men don't operate like that. Black women's sons are pathetic. And at the end of the day, they'll see all of this, they'll see all the evidence and see how much the black men do not like them. And they will continue to birth his ass into this world. And we will continue having to deal with this fucking problem. Because the only solution is, is to stop birthing him. But we know black women ain't gonna do that. They gotta, they got to birth their future baby daddies. They got to birth their future unalivers. They can't help themselves. That's why they want to be a part of the boy mom club. They have to birth the black male. They cannot see themselves not birthing his ass. And they will continue, right along with the black male, putting our lives in danger. And then get their ass on the internet and cry about not being respected by men. Well, how the fuck did these men get here? <laughs> you can stop all of that. This is for all races of women. You can stop men from getting their ass on social media talking by erasing them. By defending yourselves. When it's time to protect you, you air their ass out and you send them to see their maker. Stop feeling sympathy for the black man. The black man don't care about you. He's a savage. Even when he's a teenager, he's a savage. He doesn't have that type of sympathy. So for all you women that wants to get along with the black male when it's time for a race war, you want to uh, team up with him, your ass is going to get eat alive. For women like me, we're not delusional. I'm not looking for for protection, love, um, anything from the black male. You would never catch me asking him to protect me. Because I know damn well he won't. 
But I'm going to protect myself. And if that woman that had got hit in her head, uh, faced with that brick, if she had had a steel, and she was armed up, and she had a pow pow on her, she would have never got hit with that brick. Because once she pulled that pow pow out, that nigga would have been running for his fucking life. He would have never had the chance to assault her like he did. That's why you better arm the fuck up. Don't let nobody talk you out of arming yourself up when it comes to the black man. When he's aping the fuck out, he's dangerous. He's dangerous when he's not even aping out. You cannot trust him. These so-called good black males who claim to be married and love their families, most of them are predators, sexual abusers, violent criminals. And they won't defend you. So keep on trying to be picked by the black man. Keep on trying to be his baby mama. Birth his fucking kids. Keep on trying to be his mama. Keep on trying to be his fucking wife. Everything just to get picked. And you're going to keep getting the karma that you deserve. Now this woman, I don't care what her background is. They're trying to justify it now because they say she's not FBA. She's not a black American woman. I don't give a fuck. Black males globally are unaliving black women or black women of African descent. If that's what y'all want to put it. They do it in the Caribbeans. They do it in Africa, UK, Canada. Brazil, the United States of America, globally, they ain't shit. None of them are shit. Because some of you like to try to say, oh, the Caribbean man is this and the African man is this. They ain't shit neither. That's why y'all over here in this country. That's why y'all got all those kids out of well life and y'all got to run away from another country and come to another country because your men are pathetic. So stop trying to tell everybody that these men from other countries are better than these black American men. These black American men are horrible. They're horrible. But what gets me is that black women still find the attraction to the black male. Now, all of this shit that black men are doing all over social media, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Facebook, dragging this woman, making fun of this woman, talking about, you know, did she hurt the brick? They're more concerned with the brick than this woman's face. And you will still find black women physically attracted to this shit. That tells me that it's something mentally Wrong with these women. These women, low self-esteem is going to get their ass unalive. Trying to be in the presence of the black man. Trying to be nice to him. Going to get y'all ass unalive. And don't be surprised when he unalive you. Because you have been warned. You're going to have to protect yourself. Nobody else is going to protect you, black woman. Stop asking the black male for help. Period. He don't care.